Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Davis, and today I would like to tell you about a condition called tricuspid regurgitation. Now, exactly what is tricuspid regurgitation? Well, first, before you can understand that, you have to understand a little bit more about the heart. The heart is divided into four sections, a left and a right, and an upper and a lower. Each of these sections is divided from another one by something called a valve. A valve, just like in plumbing, allows things to flow, or in our case, allows blood to flow in one direction, but prevents it from flowing backwards. And this is very essential so that the body can have a proper circulatory system and it doesn't flow backwards. Um, now, the tricuspid valve, it's named this because tri, meaning three, is a valve located on the right side of the heart and that separates the upper from the lower section. The upper section called the aorta, the lower section called the ventricle. And the tricuspid valve is made up of three little leafids, so tri, that come together. And I only have two hands or else I would demonstrate the third. But they come together in such a way that when blood flows through, it can flow through and then it shouldn't flow backwards if the valve is working properly. Now when blood does flow backwards through a valve, it's called regurgitation. And this can happen in any of the valves, but in this case we're discussing tricuspid regurgitation. Now usually in adults, perhaps up to 70% of people will actually have a very small amount of tricuspid regurgitation, and this causes no symptoms at all and it's not dangerous in any way. However, if the regurgitation becomes severe, that's when symptoms can occur and it becomes a problem. Now things that may cause you to have tricuspid regurgitation can either be if there's an actual problem with the valve. So for example, a valve may be misshapen from birth or perhaps some kind of disease like rheumatic heart disease could have caused it to become misshapen or certain medicines, um, a weight loss medicine named Fenfen in the past was was known for this. So these can cause the actual valve to become misshapen, but there are other reasons why there can be regurgitation. For example, if the pressure um, is too great, it can push blood backwards at such a large force that the tricuspid valve is simply not strong enough to stop this backflow of blood. So the symptoms really depend on the severity. Again, when it's not very severe at all, there may be really no symptoms at all. But as symptoms, but as the disease or the regurgitation becomes more severe, as you can imagine, the blood will be flowing backwards. This can not only cause a backup of blood and fluid um, in the lungs, but in the parts of the body before they get to the heart. For example, the liver, um, the legs can also become congested with blood and the circulation will generally become bad. When this happens, it's known as right-sided heart failure. Treatment of tricuspid regurgitation depends one on the severity and what's causing it. If it's very severe and it's caused by an actual problem of the valve, then sometimes the valve will actually have to be either repaired or replaced. Prevention, again, there's no, there's no known prevention except for to maintain good cardiac health and if you have any kinds of suspicious symptoms at all, problems breathing or new uh, swelling in your legs or parts of the body, tell your physician immediately.